Hey there, welcome to SNCT Marketing's SNCT Talks and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to set up a subdomain on Namecheap. The first thing we want to do is to have a hosting plan in order to set up a subdomain. If you're wondering what a subdomain is, it's when you have a word in front of your actual domain. So it, example, if you have a shop or a company uh, website, but you also want to create a profile for your customer service, for example. So you'd put support.yourbusinessdomain.com and you can set up a completely different website without having to pay for a new domain. And most businesses are doing that. And it's something that SNCT marketing practices as well. In order for you to set up, as I was saying earlier, we need a Namecheap account, a web hosting account. We use Namecheap. We recommend Namecheap to all our clients and it's what we use. We prefer it. We've been using it for several years now. All you need to do is come in, get a web hosting package. There are web hosting packages. If you're a small business, you can start with a shared hosting package, which goes anywhere from $27 per year and up. So let's just take a quick look at their shared hosting plans for those of you that are curious. So here are the hosting plans. You could pay $57 per year maximum or the $33.88. I've only 18 and 44. And for the Stella Plus, you pay only 31 and 84. We use the Stellar Plus plan. It's, uh, it's their best plan for us and for most of our clients because it has an unlimited SSD and you can host an unlimited number of websites. You just have an issue with file storage, which is okay because it holds a lot of files. So let's go in. In order for us to set up an, add a subdomain, what you need to do, you log into your Namecheap account, which we're doing now, and we head over to the dashboard. Namecheap can help you set up uh, two-factor authentication, which I'd recommend. You would send a passcode to your Gmail account or the account you, email account you used to open your Namecheap account, and that would give you an extra layer of security. So. Now we've entered into the dashboard and from there you can see your an icon that looks like a server right here. So let's go into this icon, go to cPanel. Any website, regardless of the domain that you're hosting through the the server will be you for you to access cPanel for that website. You just click on that same server, so you don't have to worry. Namecheap will redirect you and open a new tab, so it will redirect you to the cPanel. It will take a moment. So, as you can see, the Domain section has several options. We want to go into the subdomains, enter into the subdomains option. You'll have sev you they'll give you some information about what subdomains are. So here's the subdomain information that we'll just have to put in the first word that we want to appear. In the domain in the link so for this video we're just going to test one it will create root which is the location of the domain in the server create
and there you go successful now you have your domain test.snctmarketing.com copy that and the one of the major advantages with namecheap is they give you several um https which is the ssl certificates that you can utilize for your website so right now it's installing a free uh, https redirect which means our website will have a security lock it will be a secure website it will be encrypted pretty much so that takes as well a few moments to install and then you can just click to verify that the redirect is completed you can take a look and we can check if it did just by scrolling through here test one still pending in progress so give it a bit more time and then shortly so after a few moments the sync is done positive asset domain looks like there you go you've got yourself an empty website now these subdomains are actually quite amazing because you can use it the same way you'd use a normal domain and I'll give you an example just as a bonus at the end of the video we're just going to install WordPress using a cPanel if you've never done this before it's as easy as ABC easy peasy wheezy so we're just gonna install that. Just give it a moment to load. Scroll down. Let it load the apps for the Stoftaculous app installer. And there you go, WordPress. Enter the Softaculous WordPress installer. Let's just go in and quickly install it now. What you want to do once you enter the installer is to select the domain name. So we want to put it in the test one. You also need to make sure you select the correct version of WordPress. Now we want the latest version, so this is correct. Enter the site name. Our site name is tutorial sub domains username get your password copy it change the email address to the email address that you can access because WordPress is going to be contacting you on that email from time to time so I prefer using Gmail in case anything happens at least Gmail will always be there and is always free and for the purposes of this tutorial we're just going to pick a theme straight from WordPress so just any theme just for the sake of the tutorial there's another tutorial we have where we show you how to install themes downloaded from Inverto Elements. I'll link, uh, I'll put the link to that video in the description and it should be appearing somewhere here soon. So we 
going to select this theme. No need to check for the demo. And then click install. It will take a few moments for it to you go. The installation is complete. You can go back to the link we opened at the tab and check. And once it's loading, and there you go, you've got your website fully installed with WordPress. Leave that for another video, but this is a subdomain full. The template we chose is content. Please feel free to like, click the thumbs up button, and also follow this channel. That way, more people will be.